And we find ourselves back on the beach with the mermaid, who uh, probably has something to say. You have kept your half of the bargain, Wells. It's my turn now to honor my word and to give you the key of foam. It will open the gates of eternity where Cronus is waiting. But how do I get to the gates? Enter the light under the twin columns, but take heed. Opening the gates can be dangerous. You must choose carefully and not trust your Jagger or. If you choose unwisely, you will be swallowed up by the eternal currents and your body will not be able to fight them. The gates of eternity transform all who pass through them. I'll try to make the right choice. Thank you for your help. You should know that there is no turning back from your voyage to the Sand God. Once you have passed through the Twin Columns, you can't come back. You will have to face the forces who battle for the control of the Void. I understand. But it's time that this adventure was over. I don't belong here. And an entire world is suffering because of me. I have to get back to my era, or disappear trying to. The universe has been plunged into twilight. A new dawn could rise. It's up to you, Wells. We will meet again. In another time. Okay, so they both flew into the ocean and we have to um, get through this uh, this arch. But before we do, we're going to try and see if we have maybe another gift somewhere lying around here. Would be useful. Yep, there's something over here. Which is another shell of time. Could definitely use that because we, uh, we haven't got anything left. But um, maybe a wave will restore our magic. I'm sure Tetradon is near. We must deharmonize him to preserve the future of the Sand People. Ashamira, why are you coming with me? The mermaid said it's impossible to return. I won't abandon you, Wells. It's out of the question. Besides, I will finally discover if Kronos is a reality or a myth. Wells. I'd like to know about the world you come from. What is it like? It is both simpler and more complicated than the sand world. Industry and technology have done away with magic, and time follows a consistent course. It is a world made from trials and tears, but where hope leads men. I miss it terribly. You must open the gates of eternity. But watch out for Logor Shah. Okay, so this is the end of the episode. I uh, hope you will follow me into the gates of eternity. Until then. Hello, welcome back to one of the final episodes of the new adventures of the time machine. We have just arrived at um, this uh, temple after passing through the gates and um, we are just going to explore a little bit. You must open the gates of eternity, but watch out for Logor Shah. 
You must open the gates of eternity. Okay, well, let's do that. This is a well. It looks like a well. I wonder where it goes. I think we must beware. It won't lead us to the sanctuary of Kronos. No, it won't. Okay, so basically you have got uh, to give this key back to Logoshar, but um, you can also try and um, not give it to him. Um, he will then try to destroy you. Give me the key and I'll set her free. But this is not an unlimited offer. It will make the battle really, really hard as you cannot destroy him, but you can finish the game with it. But um, we are just going to... Um, go for the easier option and give him the give him the key but um, before we do we're just going to top up our magic and then give him the key all right you win but if you go through the gates of eternity Kronos will destroy you allow me to differ beside the void is stronger than time. I'm going to keep my promise and liberate you from the weight of your memory. Spectres, their sand is yours. Okay, that is very, very fair. Thank you. Okay, straight from the bat. We are in combat mode, but as I am not a combat kind of guy, we are going to try and do this without uh, too much combat. So we're going to, um, what we need to do is fairly simple, I'll show you. You need to pull a series of levers to, uh, to stop these lemurs. Um, it will be best if I just show you. So there's a lever over here that closes one part. And there's a lever over there. Oh, another one over here. Okay, they 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 have seemed to hit me with a spell which I need to counteract. That um, wasn't part of the plan. But not a problem though. Uh, we've got one more lever to pull, which is this one. And they use the same spell, which is a very powerful spell, but we can counteract it. Um, now that all the gates have been closed, we can just um, take a little break. Take another shell here. And so we are going to get our weapon out. And we're going to just um, keep a safe distance. We're 
going to keep firing away because I think there are three, possibly four Lemurs left. So that was one of them. You see there's one over there. That's gone as well. No, I want to see where the other one is actually. Well, uh, we are just going to go and uh, and attack them because um, we're getting a bit sick of them. Oh, it's just one left. of my people. But where is he? What is this strange place? She's lost her memory. Okay, so now that um, Ashimira is back, she has uh, suffered greatly uh, from memory loss. So we're going to try and give her the black salt gem. so that he can lead his people again. It's not working. Ashamira must be neutralizing the power of the salt. So, the only way to really bring back her memory is to give her a sip of the quartz flask. You've nothing to be sorry for, Ashamira. Everyone has his demons. You've just met yours. So now that she's fully restored, I'm just going to have a quick look on... Right, I thought there was something lying over here. Another shell of time. Um, now that she's fully restored, she will help us in the final battle which is uh, about to occur. But first we need to find our way. And um, we're going to pick up the key that um, Tetradon left over here. And now we basically need to place uh, the key in one of these uh, pillars and um, we need to find out which one that is. And we can only do that with our trusted Nautilus, so it will point uh, to uh, the one that you actually need to um, to take, and um, that is it. Yet. 